Hello, my name is Joshua, aka Queen Absolute. I have another video with uh, messy hair and skin, but also going to be looking first time on Queen Zone. So, this is my Queen Zone series. One of the finds we have found on Queen Zone is um, the Expanded Collection by CMI. So, this is CMI, by the way, if you want to. Adam has a buddy on Queen Zone if you got a profile on Queen Zone. By the way, Queen Zone is um, a very good um, source for Queen information and Queen songs, so I recommend going on that. This is CMY's story of how this happened. 2011 saw the reissue campaign of the whole Queen catalogue in remastered form from fresh transferred featuring some bonus material. Unfortunately, for me, it was the weakest back catalogue reissue campaign I have ever seen so far. All albums were presented in the cheapest form in super jewel cases with thick booklets without any useful information. There were no real deluxe treatments, which is a shame. Bonus CDs were limited to five, limited to five to six tracks, which for each album so poorly selected, featuring only one to two real rarities for each album. It's especially a shame as it is well known that there's a lot of interesting stuff in the vaults which can be used, especially for 82 to 95 albums with a lot of various material previously released and singles. Another weak aspect of this reissue campaign is the quality of the sound. Some 70s albums now sounds better than ever with fresh transfers from masters but the sound of albums from 80 to 95 period was so dynamically over compressed so last year i decided to produce the whole back catalogue the way it deserves as i see it this is what cmi is doing right here he's trying to recreate the back catalogue. This is main goals. To compile available studio material of listenable quality around each album into one set with a clever structured track list, list for each disc. To present the most accurate view of a particular period. Number two, to select the best version available for each track from available sources, different CD pressings, vinyl transfers and tapes. To feature some newly created special versions of tracks, so tracks he's created himself. To remaster each track in 32-bit to my standards, featuring careful removing of clipping and other wanted digital analog artifacts, crackles, clicks, pops, etc. Each album will be presented in flac format files for each track with artwork in. 300 dpi G jpeg for printing and pdf booklet with all original artwork and main information about the album he's trying to create the back catalogue and here he here are the albums which he has done before if you want to check this out i'll leave a link to this page in the description which shows all his albums news of the world is coming soon apparently this comes out on the 1st of august so watch out for that guys so this is his first album he ever released um in 2016 so we have a kind of magic you don't know, scan this to make it high resolution as well and it's really good quality as well and then he made the whole back back of it like this which is quite nice. So, you got all the normal track, then you got extra tracks, which is Blur, Vision, and Forever, A Dozen Red Roses from a Darling in New York and New York. Kind of Vision, Kind of Magic, original version. One Year of Love, Alternative, Pain to Close, Pleasure, New Version, He Wants to Live Forever, Freddy's Vocal Version, Prince Lucifer's Alternative. Yeah, and they're just so much different mixes of songs which he's put in here. So, compared to like, the Jewel Case um, Deluxe version, which has like about six tracks in there, which are not really good. He has all these demos, all these B-sides, all these unreleased tracks, all these extended versions, all these remixes. He's just made a really good job 
of recreating these albums. So next he made the Made in Heaven expanded studio collection in 2016 as well. 19 extra tracks on here. Next he created the Erases. You can still download these using the attachment. Then he released Jazz. We have the Miracle. He's remastered these so good. You, you gotta hear them. Alternate outro version, alternate intro, extended mixes instrumental versions, rough versions, basic tracks, demos, early versions, fiddly jams, full length rough mixes. Then we have The Game in 2017, great tracks he's put on here as well. Play The Game, no synth mix, remixes, single mixes, instrumental mixes. Then we got th Queen 2, we have standalone versions remixes alternate intro versions we have the works again all re really good presented back thingies like this b-sides here and stuff let me in your heart again thank god it's christmas ready got a single edit I want to break free single mix and full single version i want to break free remix ready gaga just keeps on going and we have the first queen album here with the extra mag the swine and we have Preliminary mixes again, remixes, instrumentals, demos, early versions, take twos, like literally lots. We have Flash Gordon, Flash's theme, and the space capsule, single versions, new mixes, instrumental, early versions. Then we have a uh, whole album of or, or, orchestral score. And we have Hot Space, remixes, extended mi mixes. Instrumentals, rough mixes, take twos, jams, raw mixes, club mixes. We have Sheer Heart Attack, 2018, alternate mix, standalone versions, remixes, acapella mixes, original endings, instrumentals, rough mixes, so much. Then uh, he re released the Jazz Expanded Collection with the altered tracks as well. Yeah, the updates if you want to pause the video and look. Then we are at the end. These are the words coming out on the 1st of August, I think. If you're interested in um, CMI's things, and I'm basically promoting them here, so um, I'll leave a link in the description for his expanded collection if you want to check the tracks out. Really appreciate CMI's work. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, please leave a dislike. And I'll see you in the next video.